The Japanese tide had reached its high water mark in New Guinea by the summer of 1942. But we held at Port Moresby and then started on the difficult road back. In 1940, American military planners recognized that the war in Europe would create such an increased need for military aircraft that existing manufacturing facilities would be unable to keep up with the demand. Consequently, the US government approved with the construction of a series of entirely new aircraft plants. In December 1940, the construction of one of these government-owned plants was authorized in Kansas City for the manufacturing of B-25 Mitchell bombers. An order for 1200 B-25D bombers was approved on 28 June 1941. The 38 bomb group 
of the 405th Bomb Squadron was constituted on 20 November 1940 and brought into active service on 15 January 1941, being stationed at first near Townsville in Queensland, Australia. Later on, the 38th Bomb Group, known as the Green Dragons, was transferred to Durandrome, an airstrip some 17 miles from Port Moresby in PNG. On the 5th of August 1943, the B-25D-4130-118 left with a crew of six for an air raid against the Japanese occupied airstrip at Madang. The plane was modified from its original design of the D-series, installing four 0.5 inch machine guns in the plane's nose. On what proved to be the plane's final mission, the plane's crew was Command Officer Major Williston Cox, Pilot Captain Robert Harry, Co-Pilot Second Lieutenant Robert Kastjelnek, Navigator First Lieutenant Louis Retico, Radio Operator Sergeant Hugh Anderson and Engineer Gunner Sergeant Raymond Zimmerman. Being damaged by anti-aircraft fire and potential loss of its port engine, the airplane ditched on 5 August 1943 close to Medang between Wongad Island and the coast of New Guinea. The engineer gunner Sergeant Zimmerman was killed during the crash. All five remaining crew members were captured by the Japanese that same day. Command Officer Major Cox was sent to Rabaul on 17 August 1943 and taken by ship to Japan on 13 November of that same year. He stayed at the Omori POW camp near Tokyo for the rest of the war. On the 31st August 1943, the remaining four members of the crew, Robert Kostjelnak, Louis Ritako, Robert Harry and Hugh Anderson were blindfolded and escorted to the execution ground by members of the Matsumoto's Kempai Tai unit led by Sergeant Major Kawawa. Arriving on the execution ground, they were bayoneted and then beheaded. The wreckage was first discovered in September 1979. Seeing this weapon of war, overgrown by the sea's abundant life, can be a powerful reminder of how nature, ultimately, endures our species' most heroic, senseless and profound acts. So there's your Mitchell. Intelligent, disciplined pilot technique will make these babies do everything but talk. Speed, endurance, responsiveness, everything it takes for long, hard missions. And plenty of protective armament besides. Yep, there she goes. Treat her right, gentlemen.